It's finally time to call it a day. Shit, no, it was like really dark here. Big thanks to Steffi and also Alex because the bag I'm having here, so you not see because it's dark. Here we go, now we see it. This bag is full of driving suit and equipment that she cleaned it from last time. Thanks a lot for that. It's Thursday morning. <clears throat> This is the day I have to make everything ready and pack it because tomorrow, really, really early, I have to start going to Sandsport. Today is the 17th of May, actually. That's the Norway's uh, national day. Uh, yeah. I, I tried to say today is the 17th of May and it's Norway's national day. So happy birthday, everyone in Norway. And it's time for breakfast. This side of the car. I made ready yesterday, or the door and the carbon piece, but the rear I have to make finish today. The front I also managed to make ready yesterday. So now it's in one piece again. So, let's go over to the paint shop and make the rear parts ready. Here is the rear bumper, ready with carbon and sparkle. Also this piece is ready, gonna sand it now, put primer and paint it. Box on. While the part is drying now, the primer, I was going to my computer and I was checking when I have to be at Sunsworth. I was told that Paul Ricard was going to be there Friday morning. The paper now says I have to be there today, 12.05. It's now 11. I'm in Guterslo, Conrad. It's four and a half, five hour drive from here to Netland to Sunsworth. Nothing is ready. No, I just have to throw everything into my sprinter there and just go flat out fast as possible. It's only one thing will help me right now. It's a guy and cop of get shit done. Tires! In! I think we can say the sprinter is fully loaded. Now I'm gonna go over here and see if the parts are dry, the primer, so I can paint them yellow. The primer is dry. <laughs> friend from Connaught here just arrived here with the new block leather stickers for my door I forgot to organize it when I was in Norway so I ordered it yesterday and it delivered now that's really great so this I'm gonna come here it's gonna be really good again but now back to the paint shop and paint the parts first I'm gonna paint a white base color before the yellow I am now standing here mixing the yellow but I didn't bring the harder for it and hydro for this paint is the thing will make it dry. So now I don't know what to do. Some hardener, type of hardener. Uh, let's try this one. This normally have to be really accurate. We do it like... Yeah, that looks good. To be sure this is going to dry now, we take a dash of this turbo. Normally only a few drops is enough. I really hope it will dry, if not I have a problem. This white polar we over the paint is a base polar, so that's drying really fast. No time for the yellow. Alright. It's done yellow, now it's gonna dry. Hopefully it's drying. I've been fading it out here now, so you have no chance to see it actually. Very good. Now I quickly have to do some important office work. While this is drying now, I go and go and buy all the food and drink and everything we for the weekend. I am Nova Treve. I actually know the boss here. This is the most important for my boys, pickups. This should be enough for a few days. I just spoke to Rick at Mir Race Line in Italy. Uh, my new racing suit for this season is finally ready. And now we're gonna organize uh, export freight over the night to my hotel in Netland. Maybe I get it this weekend. I'm now sitting between the seats in my sprinter. That's because I just filled up the cooler with down here with food. Perfect, it's cold and ice. Shit, I also have to fit all these things. All these checks and sweet stuff I hide in the back of my sprinter. Because if this is in reach for my hand when I'm driving, it's not gonna be too much left when I come to support. Like this. There you go. No, I cannot reach it even if I stop and look for it. And more coffee cups. And all the bread. And the bananas we put inside here. Then is the seat ring part. Hey, and also, hey, this car. This one is for sale. When I come back to Norway with it in a week, it's for sale. 
So if anybody need a car like this in Norway, tell, give me a call. 16 model, 41,000 kilometers, white edition with white bumper stuff, aluminium rims and in perfect condition. So I can sell it for a really good price. Let's fire her up. You maybe was thinking now I was too close to the other side, but I was not too close to the other side. It is actually not more space. Now. So is this gonna work out or what? The front bumper there have a shit story. I was actually thinking about to tell you guys this story with this bumper and some other parts but I think I, I'm not gonna play this card right now I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait and see how this goes first if this goes shit I'm gonna tell you the paint on this bumper was this dry I'm gonna try to just do a little bit polishing on it to remove the fading 100% I just hang it on here now with some screws I have to mount it when I come to the track looks good again Sprinter and everything, all the equipment is ready. Now a shower, some office work. Then I go. Finally ready to go. And the most important stuff is in the car. My travel mats with my shell's bands on. This is only for traveling. This was a hard day so far. It's not gonna be easier now. And I just realized I didn't eat till now. Only the pulver I took for breakfast. I'm going to stop and get some food. I have actually been driving not more than three minutes. That's not a joke. Not more than three minutes I've been driving. Then it's like this. Mm. Just bought a coffee. I bought full tank of diesel. And I bought myself this Afrikadelle. That's my dinner today. <laughs> One thing we cool about the weekend is that I have a um, surprise guest. I have a guy who's gonna come and help me who knows the tracks really well and he's really good <clears throat> and I, you guys never gonna guess who it is <laughs> but you have to wait and see it's gonna be good I just realized the plan was that I pick up Falk tomorrow morning in Amsterdam 8 o'clock at the airport there but since I find out today I had to go to the track today and not tomorrow morning then uh, I have to organize something else for him now I have to call the other teams and try to find somebody who is going from the airport tomorrow to the track so Falk can join them. This I will do now. <laughs> Since Mario is sick and cannot come to this weekend, then it's only Falk who is coming as a mechanic. I tried everything and asked many, Alex asked many and we tried to organize a guy who can come and help me but it was no chance, nobody had time. So it's gonna be a lot much more work on me extra this weekend because I have to also do a mechanic job now. Just ignore you walking towards you on my head down looking at the ground my bear is for you paranoia. What did I do? Shit. I really wish I had some kicks here now. Speed is like zero. Look at this, eh? It's a never-ending story. Now the police have catched me. Now I have to follow. Great stuff, for sure for speeding. Oh. Morning, officer. Morning. Uh, English, Dutch, Norse. English. English is the best, yeah. English is best. Ah, I can try English, yeah. My English is not so good. I was now just stopped by the police because of speeding. Um, they want to give me a fine for 230 euros, but I, <laughs> I managed to talk myself out of it. I showed them the racing car and said I was stressed and come on guys I work a lot I'm gonna have a race this weekend and I'm a Max Verstappen fan I said and then the guy said you know what if you like what you're doing forget about it you're not getting a fine that's uh, that's thumbs up to the police here in Atlanta thanks a lot I appreciate it and I can promise you guys one thing I will not speak in the phone or speed or do anything who is not allowed here in Atlanta while driving for sure it's only four minutes left then I'm at the track, and the track is here next to the ocean. The track is over there. I am finally here. Circuit Sandsport. Here is the paddock for TCR Europe. So, where is my space then? Oh, it's colder than Atlanta. It's colder than Norway. 
This weekend is going to be quite big actually because this weekend is Formula 1, Red Bull Formula 1 and Max Verstappen coming and they say it's going to be like 250,000 spectators that's quite a lot <laughs> Hey! How are you my mate? Franz Wammerbist Hey! <laughs> you guys who don't know it we was fighting like crazy in the yeah, Clio Cup. Yeah, fuck camp. him. I fucking like deep, really deep. We, we was hating each other in the Clio Cup 2008 yeah. and 9. And who was champion? Uh, I don't remember. Uh. <laughs> it was him. <laughs> I didn't have time to stop to eat all the way. I've been pushing. I wanted to stop. I'm super hungry, but I didn't have time. And I think actually Francois saw I was hungry, so he asked me now, "Hey, you need some food or something?" And I said, "Yes, please." Now they're serving me soup with fish and everything. Perfect. Like that? Thank you very much. No, it's perfect. Thank you very much. And, uh... This was so nice now. I want to say thank you to all the Com Duty. <laughs> this was... I'm so happy about it, Fuda. I really want to have a kick before I go to sleep. Yes, I got them. Ah. The guys, I'm going to give me the place where to put up the tilt, tent. Have left. So I have to wait for till tomorrow to get my space. So I'm gonna go to sleep. And my bed tonight is up here. I think I have to clean it a bit before before that. I made this bed like this, but it stops here when I drive. But now I took the seat completely from to the front. And this plate here, I can it's normally backward, but I go it like this. Matters down. And I got a two-meter bed. Welcome to How to Tarps! All right. Oh, oh this is going to be really cold.